I was an only child, sort of solitary by nature. I learned to swim in the river, and that's where I met Looney, who began to help me understand fear. Do you reckon you can row this thing over the bar? Bar? I don't know. I guess on the right day you probably could. I don't know if you'd ever get it back again. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. It's the sea. Huh. All right. Drop it. Fish in here anyway, mate. But I don't reckon you ought to do it. So you reckon I won't? That's not what I said. I just... Shh. Listen. Here he comes. <laughs> I don't reckon we should do this. Wait. And don't follow me. I'm not going to. You just to. get skittled. Don't follow me. Lovely meal, Mrs. Park. I'm sure your mum can cook a corned beef, Ivan. <laughs> no. Where'd you get that eye? Cricket. Someone said there were two boys playing on the highway this morning. Said the driver nearly lost control of his truck. He had to brake that fast. Oh, yeah. Those idiots. Mm. I know those kids. Mm. Oh, you do? Yeah. Who are they? Oh, just some Ning Nongs from way up, way up from, um, uh, Angel's kids. Yeah, those Angel's kids. Yeah, real, real buggers. <sighs> oh, oh, so delicious. Excuse me, Miss Pot. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon I can get one of them? <laughs> I don't know you play cricket. Don't. I hate cricket. Got caught to the old man's seas. Night, Pikey. Some old guy. They're all out fishing off the rocks. Did he drown? 
Yeah, fucking sank like a stone. And your dad had a front row seat. So there you are. That's why he doesn't want you coming out here. Hmm. How far is this? I don't know. So what would you do if she put a hand in your pocket? <laughs> why would she? I don't know. See what you could find. I know what you'd find if you put it in my pocket. A flawlessly well-sized Johnson. Smooth touch, wonder. That's what you'd find. <laughs> Look out, move inside. Stay pedaling, boys. Never had I seen men do something so beautiful, so pointless and elegant. As if dancing on water was the best and bravest thing a man could do. Where've you been, ah, mate? Sorry. Oh, just for a ride. They gave us a lift back. Yeah, Bloody well, river. Mum's been worried sick. All right, so go inside and say you're sorry and come back out here and take the chickens in, please. The first boards we got were cool lights. Short, boxy, styrofoam things that squeaked when you touched them. They weren't much chop, but we thought they were the duck's nuts. you guys. What we need, mate, is real boards. Genuine fiberglass hard ones. With big stiff fins. What do you say, Pogger? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ripper. Look at you, stupid prick. It's raining. And the water's as cold as a witch's bit and you're bloody swimming. We like bloody swimming, Dad. Yeah. 
Five bucks alone to chop it up. Interesting? And this one more load. If you don't do it, I'll get someone else. Hmm? 20 bucks a truckload. Mm. Mm -mm. 15? Yeah. 10! Dr. 10! Yeah? Eight. You just can get to buggery. I don't want you telling the other guys where you got these from, all right? Mm, why not? Because they're shit boys. That's why. <sighs> oh, thanks, Lipa. Thanks, man. Mine's better, huh? Mine's wings. It's cooler. My first wave that morning. I leant across the wall of upstanding water and the board came with me as though it was part of my body and mind. I still judge every joyous moment and every victory and revelation against those first few seconds of riding that wave. You wouldn't be dead for quiz, would you? Right, up the back, go on! need a ride? Our bikes are just at the top of the hill. Yeah, get in. What is that? Surfing bareback all weather. How old are you? 14. Almost 14. Bullshit. It's full of shit. Oh, 13 and a half then. Jesus. Well, you get tired of lugging your boards out from town, you can leave them at our place. Jeez, thanks. First driveway on the left, half a mile or so onto the bitumen. Okay, thanks for the ride. See ya. Okay, cool. Cheers, mate. What do you 
you reckon? Mm. Hippies. That's what I reckon. Nah, fuck it. My arm's rooted. He's all right. Hello? Anyone home? Hey, come check this out. Oh. oh, it's a total hippie love nest. You shouldn't be up there, Looney. Looney, we should probably just get going. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Don't get all fucking sulky on me. We need to get going, Looney. Bloody paradise. The boys take a wrong turn. Just came to get our boards. They're just in there. How are they now? The bloke said we could. Better show me. This one's mine. That is. Uh-huh. He's not here. Who? Sando. Who? The bloke. Oh, uh, Sando. Uh, where is he then? Could be in Indonesia for all I know. Really? No. It's not outside the realm of possibility. So, what's your name, anyway? Eva. And uh, where are you from, Eva? From the US. Yeah, I can hear the accent, but which part? Utah. Utah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if we drop him back later, because we didn't ask, your bloke offered. All right, see you later, Eva. I could tell she liked me. What? What? She was looking at me with that special look. She wasn't looking at anything. Yeah, that's what I mean. She couldn't look at me. She was keen. I don't know. Nah, you don't know these things, Parker. You will, one of these days. She probably is wife. <laughs> yeah? So? Why aren't you into those wars, eh? The sea was different that day. But we went out anyway, because we didn't know any better. Oh, how about it, Snow? 
He's out there, isn't he? Of course he is. Oh, fuck him, Jesus. Oh. Oh. Okay, come on, let's go. Only a bloody idiot would be out there on the day like today. I'll surf that one day. You damn me. A day to day me. What is that? These guys built a raft and sailed all the way across the Pacific on the current. Wow. It's incredible. Mm. Are we, um, you and, you and... Yeah. <laughs> ah, here they are. Heckle and Jekyll. Looking for trouble. Look at this. Oh, mate. Heard you boys got a bit of swell the other day. Yeah, we, um, it was about seven or eight foot. Yeah. There's a couple of nine footers as well. Yeah, it's massive. Seven or eight foot, huh? Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna take this for a spin. You've got yourselves a lift if you're looking to get wet. Really? Yes. Get wet. For sure. Get your boards in the back. Rooster, in the back. Good boy. See you later. I call one at least that. He was shitting himself. He'd never been out in anything that big. Oh, neither of you. I rode one the whole way in and then kicked out on the sand. Well, that's impressive. How about you, Pikeman? You get any? 
Yeah, I got one. Got skidded on the inside though. And then later, uh, the Andrews crew came and took us up to the top of that ridge, to that bombing. Oh yeah, called Smokey. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was going off. Yeah, there was someone out there trying to surf it. Yeah, really, who is that guy? Did someone surf that? Well, on occasion. How would they get out there? Oh, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? Yeah, bro, I was smoking. I was going off. It must have been 20 something foot easy. Yeah, that's a big wild coast out that way. Full of surprises. Hey, Dad. Hey, mate. Come on. Yeah. Mm, delicious chops, man. You love your chops. <laughs> love, try and keep your nose out of the sun. You know that hat that Dad got you? The fishing one? Yeah. Reckon it's somewhere. Mm -hmm. Stay, Mum. Once we were accepted, allowed in, if we weren't with Sando, we were just marking time. All up through here, waves all through that region. Have you been up there before? Yeah, in, in, in this region, several times down here, but never that far north or west. We didn't know it yet, but we'd already imagined ourselves into a different life. Anderson styling it perfect ring con. <laughs> He's on the front cover of this one too. Look at him. Shit. This is Morocco in 1968. It's Hawaii in 71. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, what else is there? He's been all over the place. Hollister Ranch. Where's that? Look at him. Oh. Let's put him in order. 73. Seven, three, one. Man. What are you doing? Where the fuck did you find those? Just, um, they were just there in the boxes. All right, that's cool. Stack them up and put them away. I want you to stay here and wait for me, okay? Stay here and wait. Eva! Quick, quick. You know how those boxes got there? Quick. Hey!
gonna kiss and make up. Let's go. He said, wait. Can I play? Piss off. Didn't mean to piss anyone off. Nah, it's just a bunch of old crap. Don't worry about it. Get your bikes in the back, I'll give you a ride home. Oh, listen, there's a little spurt of swell coming, day after tomorrow. Should be offshore, so get up early. Early? It's Barrowsville. I'll pick his both up. Then we'll go somewhere discreet. Secret? Yeah, I think you're ready. Thinking of taking the door out fishing on Saturday if you want to come, mate. Um. Probably gonna go out to the beach with Lenny. Mm. All right. Can I please leave the table? We have an appointment with the undisclosed.
Where the fuck? Oh. This is Barney's. How come the name? Well, right. because Barney lives here. Only fair to tell you. This guy Barney. Oh, Barney. Well, he's not hungry all the time, which improves the odds. <laughs> Tell me it's not a shark. Okay. It's not a shark. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not your average shark, let's put it that way. What? What? I've been coming here for years. I still got all my fingers and toes. But you've seen him? Yeah. Five, maybe six times. And what kind of shark is this? Well, like I said, mate, not your average Noah. Stop pissing about and fucking say it. It's a white pointer, mate. The great white hunter. Fucking fuck, fuck. How big is this thing? Oh, I'm 14 foot. I don't know. It's hard to say, Pikelet. It's got a big old head, though, and a grin like Richard fucking Nixon. What the fuck did you bring us here? Thought you had the nads for it. You're not scared, are you, Lenny? Bullshit. He's shitting us. Maybe. He's calling us fucking sooks. <laughs> Thinks we're just gonna sit here like a couple of fucking girls. Credit where credit's due. You got the wave of the day, mate. That was a smoker. Oh, I wish we had a camera. It was too good. Like, we should have got a photo. Ah, you don't need that photo. But just to show, like, prove it. You don't need to prove anything, mate. You were there. Oh, well, at least you blokes saw it, Hayes. Why, I? It's not about us. It's about you. Your moment with the sea. That's Your fucking moment hippie with shit, the man. What's that? It's fucking hippie shit. Oh, is that so? for you. You got plenty of shots to prove what you done. Whole little bay, man. Morocco. It's all horseshit. It's wallpaper. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. So eventually it's just you and it. Yeah, you'll be out there thinking, do I know what I'm doing? Am I solid? Or am I just ordinary? How does it feel? How's what feel, mate? When it's that serious. Uh, you boys will find out. Mike, I mean... 20 feet. Well, I'll tell you something, mate. You're glad there's no bloody photo. But when you're still alive and you're standing there at the end, and you've just made it, it's not, you can't, it's, the, you, you're completely alive. You're completely in your body. You, you just get this rush. It's, uh, it's just like you felt the hand of God. And the rest of it's just sport and recreation.
Get off the flippers, please. Where after come ahead of the storm, clean, powerful. Here's old Smokey. It's about half a mile off the coast, and this is the continental shelf, right? So when the wave hits here, the water rises up on the shoal and turns itself inside out. And it's not so much about the height, the size; it's about the, the volume, the girth. That's where the power is. So we'll paddle out here. We wait in the channel. We check our position here, the limestone streak, the line of trees, find the perfect takeoff spot. I mean, it's simple, really. You choose the right wave, you're halfway home. But if you judge wrong and you take off too far across the reef, then you're in more trouble than the early settlers. It's not about what's up here. Nothing to do with the thoughts in your head. It's about the work you've done. That and surrender. Surrender is what frees you up to be completely in the moment, to commit with your body and your soul with complete certainty. Not a shred of doubt. Not a shred. What do you want? Sorry, I, I thought... I thought I heard a noise and just... came up to have a look. You missed him. He's gone off somewhere for a paddle. Breeze is swung on shore anyway. Yeah. What happened? Do you need? Skiing accident. Did you ever ski? No, I've never seen snow. Yeah, well... White and cold. How long till it's better? How long's a piece of string? What piece of string? Doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm sorry. See you. Smokey's right about here. Let it go. It's deep. Yeah, well, it won't seem so deep from the top of a 10 footer. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? Wait. Looney, wait.
You like chili? No. Well, you're gonna learn to. This is new. That pikelet is my wife. You're shitting me. I shit you not. Far out. Yeah, it pretty much covers it, doesn't it? How does she do it? Big downhill run, off a jump. She just soars through the air while doing a flip. And lands on her feet. Oh, that's the plan. Jeez. Yeah, she's, um... Mate, hey, she's pretty well known. And that's Utah in 71. And she's been out now in three, maybe four more. She's over there right now. Oh, skiing? Jesus, no, no, not with that knee. She's, um... They're trying another operation. And they're gonna fix it? That's the hope. How can she stand it here? There's no snow. Well, I think she prefers it. I mean, if you couldn't surf, could you stand living right next to the ocean? The ocean's beautiful. That'd be enough for me. Bullshit. No, really. You know, just to see it. Yeah. Oh, I'd rather be dead. Keep the chicken wire for me. need to make yourself scared. No worries. Keep your eyes open, though. There's something brewing down south. Could be good for old Smokey. Really? Welcome back, Ava. Let's just go to your place. There's no way I'd let my wife on the show. No way. You let to get away with so much shit. I reckon your mum's done scones. I love your mum. There was nothing else to do but wait. Then we got the word. Good. Old Smokey was on. Bless. Unfortunately for Looney, two days earlier, he'd tripped down the stairs at the pub with a little help from his old man, no doubt. You're shitting yourself. It's 
see you up to. Hey, Looney. You guys want to watch? Oh, I don't think so. Hey, come and watch out for you, mate. Oh, and spoil your secret hippie moment. Watch and learn. Ah, oh, no fucking worries. I'd love that. Show a bit of support. What for? He's chicken. You're a coward. Jesus, son, don't be an asshole. Fuck off, coach. We're definitely getting wet this morning. Feels unsure in here, but around there it'll be clean. Getting out's the easy part. Coming in is when you have to concentrate. So you've got to be patient, okay? Wouldn't be dead for quids, would you? I wonder what the ordinary people are doing today. the brew. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, just take it before I change my mind. Thanks. Now watch what I do, and you follow. Come on, mate. 
something different, all right? We're gonna play a little game. Okay. We're gonna see who can touch the bottom first. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> First one go, let it draw some water. And the second one's got your name on it, okay? You'll paddle to it, you'll turn and commit. Not a shred of doubt. You got me? Here we go. How big? Big enough to get the Boy Wonder's heart started. How big? Boy Wonder? I don't know, 10, 15? Yeah, 10 maybe, yeah, he serves about 10. Solid. So you got worse? Yeah, yeah, did good. I took the worst flogging ever. <laughs> but he did the deed, made himself a bit of history. He'd never be the first or the youngest out at old smoking, but he'd seen what he had to do. 
And by midwinter, he finally got his chance. Whatever we did that day, or any day, learning did it harder. He went later and deeper than either of us. He hadn't simply taken old Smokey on, he'd taken it over. He surfed like someone who didn't believe in death. Three miles offshore, a bomby off a granite island, seal colony. Holds a shitload of swell and gets very square. You launched from the old whaling cove. You've done that? Well, I've scoped it a few times, buzzed out there in the tinny. But you haven't surfed it yet. You don't know when to stop. No, actually, I think you do know when you should stop, but you won't. No, Parklet, I haven't surfed it yet. There's a wave inside the wave. That's right, the Nautilus. The reef must be right underneath the surface. Low tide, it's above the surface. You can only surf at mid to high. The next frontier. You think that's possible? Really, honestly? Honestly, Parklet? I need to take a shit just looking at it. You're scared, are you? I'm scared. Yeah, well, fear's only natural, mate. It's no shame in it. What do you reckon? And people face down fears every day. They make bargains with God. They make a decision, they put their mind to it, then they're halfway there. Daring to try, that's mankind for you. I'm sure you mean humankind. Yeah, thanks. We can always go back to surfing the point at two foot and sunny. Peace of peace. You're a turkey, Lenny. Right, I didn't say I was you scared. Are he, a turkey. he said I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> we started our research on the Nautilus. Homework, Sando called it. 
But that winter didn't amount to much, and without swell, we became bored and restless. See ya. Bruce Pike, you are moody, selfish, and very inattentive. Therefore, I hereby notify you that you are, from this point forward, relieved of any further duties as my boyfriend. Yours sincerely, Queenie Cookson. <laughs> if Ahab has his way, be nor me nor any member of this ship's company will ever see home. Hey, I hear Looney's left ah, school. No, Mr. Starbuck, you're just plain gloomy. Dad said he's working down the maybe milk. Beef. You ain't that beef? Huh? I do not fear Moby Dick. Mm. I fear the wrath of God. The wrath of God? It is our task in life to kill whales and furnish up their oil for the lamps of the world. A monster storm showed up. On the weather map, it looked like a tumour on the sea. Sando was fired up. He was determined we'd go for it this time. I'm feeling it. Come on, Pike, man. You know what's what. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna watch for a bit. Didn't bring you out here to watch, man. Come on, fuck! Let's go! Just wait! Stop this. Come out. Look, I thought I brought surface with me. Men above the ordinary.
Here's the boy. Came to you know see Sando. What? Just came to see Sando. Was that you the other night? What? No. Doesn't matter. Can you help me with this stuff, please? Pardon? Can you help me with this fucking stuff, please? You want coffee? Well, I can do that. I'll make the coffee. Can you sit down? Thanks. How's your own knee? Here we are, Parkwood. All on our lonesome. What do you mean? Didn't tell you either. Tell me what? He's gone. Indonesia would be my guess. We killed a pal with him. What? Yeah. To groom in Indo fucking Nasia. He's a lone musketeer. You couldn't have gone anyway, you've got school and stuff. Yeah, but... Bad manners. Guru shit and bad manners pretty much go hand in hand. Do you want coffee? I don't even drink bloody coffee. Come on in and get dry. We'll catch your death out here. I'm getting you a towel and a dry shirt.
be nice to me, okay, but then. Oh well. Don't brag about me. Not to Lenny, not to anyone. He's talking about the Eastern Islands. Why do you let him go? He needs it. What about what you need? He knows what I need. Getting cold, you should go. I can make a fire. God, you're getting weirder. What's been happening? Nothing. Nothing much. It's like you're off the air. She's got lots going on, that's all. I'd say lots or nothing much. Which one is it? I still want you to take me to the social, okay? Will you? few moments in the air. They were the last happy moments of my life. I miss being afraid. Maybe it'll get better this time. It's getting late.
wake up at 11.30. It's nothing. Whatever you reckon. I want to play a game. <laughs> I don't get it. I'll show you. What if I don't want to? I'll be disappointed, I guess. Shame. You know how to hyperventilate, right? It's kind of like that. You choke yourself. So, yeah. Fuck, why? <laughs> God, this little man makes me come like a freight train. <laughs> you want me to <laughs> choke myself too? No, of course not. I just want you to watch. Jeez, I, I don't know. Feels better, I can't tell you. And it's safer than having a dive buddy. I don't want you to hurt yourself. I won't. Not if you don't let me. I love you. I'll see you. Hi, Cody. It's okay. I'm fine. Look at me. I'm fine. Be 
taking scared to have some fun. You should know that by now. Just saying, I do that to you. I don't have to answer that. I understand you, Pikeheim. You're different. You got this look. Like you're expecting to lose something. And you're right. You're right to expect it to be snatched away. Because it can be. I don't know, it doesn't feel right. I just don't think you should ask me to do certain stuff. Yeah, I'll be here. pregnant go home. fun's over is it mine Do you want me to chop some wood? No, I don't. Just go.
Right. How's it going? When did you get back? Last night. So how was it over there? Fucking unbelievable. Yeah, we got everything. We got shot at, seen off, spider bitten, deported, and honking waves. I caught this. What happened? Oh, just the reef. Rips the shit out of you. All the water. Oh, it's... It's insane. You would have loved it. Just big, smooth, green walls that just reel off for days. Yeah. Wow. It's fucking amazing, man. You really missed out. I brought you something. Yeah. What Close is it? your eyes. Hold out your hand. Don't look. Just smell it. <laughs> it smells like shit. <laughs> Had to get it through the airport somewhere. It's hash, mate. I had it on my date, Johnny Cash. Put it in your pocket. You'll thank me later. Looking tall and stassy, bike. Looking manly. Hmm, I like it. But, um, I heard you went out smoking and lost his brewer. Yeah. It's gonna be dirty about that. Could be dirty about something else, too. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Just gossip. Filthy gossip. The old man, you know. <sighs> Nautilus is going to break this weekend. Yeah? Mm. Sunday morning, Sander reckons. He said he wanted to catch up with you. I haven't seen him. Yeah, he's scared of Nautilus, you know. Shit scared of it. Yeah, he's getting old, but... Oh, hello, Ivan. Have a good see. Yeah, back in little old Sawyer. See you Sunday. Dawn's crap. Sando, I'll talk to you. Have you been? Yeah, good. Yeah? <laughs> Chopped a lot of wood out at my place, Pikelet. Buddy lot. Yeah. Don't want you to think I don't notice these things. Eva was glad for the company, so she says. Yeah? Mm, got the board back. The brewer. Really? Yeah, tuna fisherman found it 25 k's out to sea. <sighs> yeah, sorry about that. Ah. No worries, mate. Don't need to be sorry. You took on old Smokey by yourself. That's up there, Pikelet. Hats off, mate. That is up there. In my books, you earn that board. It's yours, mate. Yours. Oh, thanks, Pepper. No, nah, no, nah, it's yours, OK? Thanks. It's all right. Your mate, Looney. Jesus. Tell you, you know what he's like. Long story. Can't be trusted. Willful little bastard. Fucking nuts, actually. You know what else? What? Well, I think you know what I'm talking about. No. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> yeah. Thought you looked different. Did you? Were well, you gonna congratulate me or what? Yeah, of course. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, man. So listen, there's a uh, there's a front coming in from down south. She'll be breaking at Nautilus this Sunday morning. Good, clean swell, perfect angle. You're gonna want to be there with that brewer under your feet. 
Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, mate. Well, I'll pick you up Sunday at dawn. So, um, yeah. Yeah, what? I'm not coming. <laughs> You're kidding? No. It's not for me. It's an ugly wave and I don't like it. Bullshit. Get in. Get in. doesn't make me ordinary or a coward. It's just not for me. Don't come in. You should get your board out of the back. No, it's fine. It's not even my board. I said you earned that board, so it's yours, OK? Now get your fucking board out of the back. Michael, come here. You got your own thing, Michael. Don't lose that, okay? There's fear in all of us. I know that now. It's how you live with it that makes you who you are. Years later, when I got the news about Looney, I can't say I was surprised, but it hit me hard. A single gunshot to the back of the head, some kind of drug deal gone bad. He always lived like he had nothing to lose, because he thought he didn't matter. Well, he mattered to me. You know, I miss the mad bastard. I still paddle out whenever I can. Not to prove anything, just to feel it. That sweet momentum, the turning force underfoot. And in those brief, rare moments of grace, I'm dancing. <laughs> 